So guys, today I'm going to show you how to create the retro pixelated post process for your game. Maybe you develop something like early version of Doom. I hope this tutorial will be helpful. And also this is the first episode of the new series. I don't give up my series about creating the game from scratch. It's just another series for the quick tutorials. So, this post process works fine with reflections, PBR, materials, also with lights, and it's pretty simple. So, what you need to do is just to create the material and then here change material domain to post process and to achieve the better result and prevent the visual artifacts, you need to set blendable location to place that on map. It's essential. Basically, what do we have here? We have texture coordinate. It's simple UV layout multiplied by the number of bands, cells, pixels, wherever you want to call it. Then we need to floor or seal. Floor basically withdraws the second part of the float value and goes to the lower end. For instance, if we have minus 1.5, it will return as the result minus 2. Seal works opposite. In case we have 1.5, it will return 2. So, basically, floor will actually give you the darker result, seal will give you the brighter result. And when we multiply something, then use a floor or seal and divide the, the result on the same value, we will actually receive some sort of bands or the gradient with the particular number of bands. The lower value we give, this one, Less bands we will have and the visual feedback will be strong. If we have more values here, for instance, 1024, on the preview you will see that we'll actually have more smoother effect. So, the higher the value is, less difference between post process and the final screen you will have. So, this operation we provide to scene texture post process input. So, the viewport will be covered with the pixelated effect. Another part is to create some sort of the color variation where we have less colors than we actually have in our life. So, the same operation like here, but first of all we need to desaturate it to have the black and white gradient. Then, multiply, seal, divide, but the value is less, so the number of colors we will have in our gradient will be lower than we will have in real life. Then this mask we use and add our result here to this. And this multiply is just to brighten in the overall look of our scene. So by having this setup, you'll actually receive what you saw from the demo. Let's wait a shader. Let's wait for Shader to compile. So even in the preview here, you see that it looks like some retro game. It's very simple setup, so please... I think you will actually not receive that much effect that you like. It's not a triple A, some kind of sort retro game, but for the prototyping type to see whether this style suits you, 
is pretty much okay method. I'm sorry, I just tried to make it on the spot, so my words can be a little bit confusing. Then, what we need to do, you need to search for the post process in your level, in case you want this setup be only for the particular level. Then, inside our post process volume, search for post process materials, press on add icon element, then select asset reference and provide our post process. In case you want to have this post process for the whole game cycle, you need to withdraw this, like this, and open your character where you have your camera and make the same steps. Select your camera, then here post process. In rendering features you need to expand the category and you see the same layout. So please do the same and when you do this, then when you launch the game, you'll see that everything works fine. So, I hope you like what you saw. Please leave your feedback, leave your ideas, requests, and see you soon with the landscape auto material.